Hello guys, so we have some exciting things to talk to you about. I have to admit, I've been missing you all and I feel really ashamed of myself because there's been a lot of things that have happened. Let, oh, let me fix this. There. So there's been a lot of things that have happened over the last few weeks and I haven't been vlogging. I've been putting out content. I hope you're enjoying where we're going with everything. But a lot of things have happened over just even the last couple days that I really feel like I have to talk to you about. So the first thing that's really important, the first thing that I kind of want to catch you up with, wrong, is yesterday I fell down the stairs and I might have broken my ankle. These are the stairs that killed me. We went to urgent care though, and luckily I am okay. It's not broken, it's just a bad bone bruise. Now, the second thing that we did is when we got back to LA, we went to the LA Fit Expo. And that was a lot of fun too, and I vlogged the whole time. But the problem that I had is that a lot of the content wasn't pulling together, and then my camera died because I left my charger in New Hampshire. So as I was coming through, as I was waiting for it to come back, I had a hard time getting the content out to you. So, this is where we're at. We're into almost February. It's almost February 2018. How insane is that? But, this is the launch of something new, something fresh, and something bold. So, now that you're caught up to speed, now that we're all here, Let's get into the vlog. Bye, I love you. Bye, I love you. <laughs> Bye, I love you. Bye, I love you. Bye <laughs> 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 bye. So I had to change spots, change locations. It's like 50 degrees here, but I'm really close to the ocean here at Bulletproof, so it gets all windy. I know, it looks beautiful. It's probably like 50 degrees, but we're close to the ocean, so it keeps blowing the breeze through, really throwing me off. How spoiled am I? This New Hampshire kid living in Los Angeles, it's 50 degrees out. I was dealing with the cold not too long ago, and now I come here, it's 50 degrees, and I complain. But we're gonna find a different spot so I can warm up and get some more work done. Hello. So this is Julia. Hello. Julia is Lindsay's friend. She's, she's my friend too, but she's more Lindsay's friend. But she is here in California enjoying the tribe. And Lindsay brought her here because Lindsay is the best. <laughs> Because I'm what? The best. Oh, yes. Lindsay also brought me something. This. So you know that you're a New Hampshire native when your family sends you packs of homemade beef jerky. My dad got a smoker for Christmas and he's been experimenting making smoked beef jerky. Message from my dad goes, hey guys, just a short message about the product. About the what? <laughs> the product. <laughs> he's his own Shopify. It is about eight o'clock right now. I was working at a Starbucks right there, and I thought they were open till nine. Not fair, they closed. I am going to go home and write some new goals. There's some things that I haven't addressed. There's things that I haven't talked about. There's things that I want to work on, but I'm just not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. And this is the point of this video, to really tell you guys. So we're here training legs with Joey B Fitness. What up? We're gonna have an epic quad day. What are we focusing on? We're, quads? Quads? Yeah, and just quads. Go, just quads. Just quads. Nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else. There's nothing else that matters on this leg day. Just quads. But quads. That's it. So let's do this. So with this new powerlifting split, what I'm doing is I'm focusing on all my major lifts, so squat, deadlift, bench, and overhead press. The big thing here is we're reducing our rep ranges and going for more of a compound heavy lift. So here, focusing on the back squat, today was three sets of five, so we end up increasing from 75% of our max all the way up to 85% of our max, and so just really focusing on getting your body firing on all cylinders. The biggest difference between powerlifting and bodybuilding is bodybuilding is is more about the contraction. So if I was doing this, I'd be focused more on my quads. How do my glutes engage? For 
powerlifting, it's not that you want to sacrifice your form, but you're going to focus more on the contraction. And so now this is obviously Joey. And what we're doing here is leg press. So he's not going as far down as um, if his feet were wider. And this keeps the tension more on his quad. So if you guys are doing leg press, it's really important that you focus more on how your quads are engaged. Same thing here. So when I'm doing this, I'm really focused on my feet being a little bit lower on the pad. My feet are more narrow and everything is engaged in my quads. Now, if you were to widen your feet here, it would engage more of your glutes and hamstrings, but that's a separate workout. And this workout as we said was all quads um and the big thing is is you want to be focused on each rep as it works within your body a lot of times people throw way too much weight on the leg press they'll throw around reps and i think i've hit on this enough but you don't want to get hurt on something like this you want to stay healthy and you ultimately want to be building so you're getting better with each and every set now Moving into lunges, I really like to do walking lunges with dumbbells on my quad day. What this gives me is an extra sense of stretch, whereas on a normal barbell uh, quad movement, like a barbell, with a, I'm missing my words, barbell lunge, um, you're going to target more of your glutes in general, and that's where you're going to find that you get a better stretch. So here I'm leaning down, feeling more of the stretch in my groin area, and getting more of that focus on my quads. Boom. One thing I wanted to say is I put the Boom Zeus in there because I don't think anyone actually understands why I say Boom Zeus. Boom Zeus comes from when I worked at Vitamin World um, as a junior, sophomore, and senior in college. Um, I was assistant manager there, but we had a manager, and all he ever said was after a great sale, we'd all get together and say Boom Zeus. And so I kind of took that on as calling people Zeus, and it kind of took off from there. It's something that I think is better than saying great job, dude, um, way to go. I'm not really into that, so I figured Boom Zeus was kind of my own way of extending that. Um, so lastly, we hit quad extensions, and then we focused on a front squat movement. If you guys don't have this machine, you can do it with a barbell or you can do it with a Smith machine, but I really like to end with squats. You should really be doing more than one squat variation, whether that's a barbell back squat or a dumbbell goblet squat, you want to be focused on how you're ultimately hitting your hips, hitting your quads, and developing the legs the most you can. You know, there's nothing better for your legs than squats, and truthfully, there's nothing better for your body than squats, so don't discount it and just push yourself throughout this leg workout. So, we just wrapped up the leg day. Joey, how was the legs? It was, it was pretty savage. Um, I'm not going to lie, I actually haven't trained legs in two weeks. It's because I was sick, so yeah. I'm so not we, one of those guys. I don't skip leg day. <laughs> he doesn't skip leg day. Uh, yeah, but it was awesome. We started with our heavy compounds. We burned out. We did walking lunges, leg extensions, and of course, since Brian's a savage, we finished <laughs> with squats again, so I'm, gotta, I'm beat. Yeah. So I'll put his link in the uh, bio in the description, but check him out. He's a beast. He's got a lot to offer, a lot of value, and I know you guys Appreciate will get it. a lot from him too. So Thank you, Zeus. Awesome stuff, bro. Hello. We are on our way to hike now. I'm not quite sure where we're going, and to be honest, guys, I do not like hiking. I'm not a big fan of going for long hikes after leg day. If you guys don't remember, I got wicked burned last time I did this, but luckily I have a shirt on, and it's a little bit less of a intense sun. So this is what Julia wants to do. And when Julia's here, everything's about Julia. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but we're gonna have a great time. We're gonna show you guys an amazing view of Los Angeles. Be careful. Huh? This is where the trolls live. Truth is though, that's the best view. No. Get out of there, Julie. <laughs> so how do you like LA? I love LA. I love it more and more every day. You know what I love? What? What's funny about that? There's a bug in my face. There's a bug in your face? I thought, you were, I, thought the, I thought the force of the finger was like pulling the you down. I want you to go get tacos with me. <laughs> Taco time? Taco time. Let's get tacos. So we are here at Tokaya. This is a chicken and veggie bowl. What is it? Tokaya. Tokaya? What would you get? It's Um, a street corn and fuego bowl. Oh yes, clutch. I regret it. <laughs> so we got Shiva here. 
We got Cass here. I'm in three. And of course, no dinner date is going to be completed without Shiba. Shiba. <laughs> without Froyo. Digging a hole, making a fire, uh, fireworks, uh, stacking something, building, growing a tree, apple picking, <laughs> Jenga. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> yep, plant. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, plant. Basically, but planter, farmer. <laughs> Now it's time for us to talk. First off, I do apologize that I kind of have like this like dad haircut going on right now. I think it just like dried weird. But the important part of this whole video, the whole reason why we're talking right now is because I haven't addressed where I'm going right now. I haven't really thought about it too much because since we've been back in LA, things have been moving so fast. But I'm really excited about where things are going. I spent all of today, things you guys didn't see, journaling really mapping out my plan. And now it's time to execute. So, I have some big plans. I have some things I wanna share with you guys because this is a new realm. I haven't really talked that much fitness stuff with you guys. I haven't really shared that much on the channel. And as you have guessed, if you haven't followed like my Instagram or if you haven't gotten a sense from where it was originally, I don't wanna compete in bodybuilding anymore. Um, I want to bodybuild. I want to bodybuild, meaning I want to build my body, I want to develop a better physique, but I don't want to do the competitive aspect of it. I'm still going to probably cut and get lean for summer and, and really try to push my, myself that way, but I don't think that a contest in the competitive bodybuilding world is for me, especially as I expand my lifestyle coaching. Now, here's the thing though. I love training like a bodybuilder. I love training hard. I love getting into the gym and pushing myself as hard as possible. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start strength training. I'm gonna start focusing more on powerlifting, and my goal is by the end of 12 weeks to decide if I wanna do a powerlifting meet or not. I'm on the fence right now. I'm in conversation with someone actually right as we speak um, about some of the different aspects of powerlifting that I should focus on, trying to get more of a actual template so I can focus on things that are actually going to help me progress and help you guys progress so I'm not just winging it, which is kind of like the things I do usually. But I'm excited, so I think this is gonna be an exciting experiment. This is the launch of a new series, and this series is gonna be called More Than a Body. So the focus is gonna be on building more than a body, building my business, building my relationships, expanding so I'm not just focusing on the exterior shell. I wanna work on everything else, and that's what I do for my clients. So the biggest thing that I give to my clients is that lifestyle component is that mental check. I think that fitness trumps the physical, and if you can learn to map out a way to conquer the physical, then you can conquer other things in life. And that's what this series is gonna be about. So I'm excited, guys. I'm hoping, hoping you're ready for this too. This is gonna be a totally different energy, a totally different style, and I am very grateful to have you on this journey with me. So, until next time, I will see you in different videos on Instagram, maybe on Facebook. So. Subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you want to see out of this new series, but above all else, keep being a light. Let's keep believing in more, and let's stay the course to build something better together. Boom, Zeus. I'll see you guys.